Hello collectors, uh, this is a review of the 38th uh, 2011 Pursuit of Cobra Sky Striker. This reminds me of Tom Cruise in Top Gun because this plane actually resembles of the F-14 Tomcat swept wing uh, interceptor plane and, uh, and as you can see this is the newest version of the Sky Striper available with GI Joe. Yes. And today I'm gonna do this review and also show off some of my custom work like this uh, custom female pilot of this. Yes. Okay, so first I'm gonna go with the pros. Uh, as you can see, it comes with great packaging. Uh, this nice. I'm gonna show you that. Uh, it's huge. The packaging is huge. The artwork is just great. Yes, as you can see, it's huge. This plane itself is huge, and the artwork is great. This plane comes with a uh, Captain Ace figure which I'm unable to show you because I've already customized it but it and the packaging is great as you can see okay so now you've now that you've seen the packaging I'm gonna go and tell you some of the details and facts I know about this plane this uh, sky striker as you can see, it's uh, made made of very good plastic compared to the classic classic GI Joe uh, Sky Striker. This plastic looks more sturdy and firm, and and it's not shiny. You can see it's a matte finish. You can see it has a matte look. It doesn't shine too much, and. and this, uh, as you can see, mind you, these uh, these black marks these have been made by me to uh, bring out the details of the sculpt. Great sculpt and details, if you can customize it. It's not a one is to eighteen scale uh, plane. It is rather one is to. It's a mix of one is to twenty four. And one is to eighteen uh, figure. Okay, you're seeing this it's huge, and it does a great job. You can remove these if you like. These are the engine details, and it can be removed on both sides. Okay. And here also you can remove this. You can remove the canopy. Yes. Here are the missiles. It comes with six missiles. And I'm gonna come to that later. Uh, first, there is a, this mechanism uh, allows the, uh, the swept wing concept. So I have used this mechanism, sorry for the video, like, kind of holding. Okay, so now it's a swept wing. If you have seen the Top Gun movie, you will be able to understand that this swept wing is used for high speed intercepts as this plane is a long range interceptor, this F-14 Tomcat, okay. And here you can see the fuselage and other details. These markings have been made by me to give you a nice review of the sculpt. Okay, so here is it. It's a huge plane and good for play purposes and collecting collection purposes. But it's not an update of the, um, not not a huge update of the classic Sky Striker, which I. Think Okay, I'm gonna retract the wings. Okay. 
So now the cons. The cons are the classic striker. Sky Striker had a double was a double seater plane. Unfortunately, this one is a single seater, as you can see. They could have fitted two seats just like the original F-14 Tomcat, but unfortunately they decided to go with the single seat. But it's for play and it's okay. Yes. There's some details, you can customize it if you like. So, here you have, okay. They provide you with stickers and they look great. Okay. The second thing about this is the missile problem. These missiles, after you fit them, tend to fall off. Okay. To know how to fit them firmly, you can visit the IGO forums and they have a nice tutorial how to give them a nice tape finish and they will stick on. Apart from that, I really expected some update regarding this swept wing because in the original uh, classic uh, Sky Striker, this was a drawback. The wheels come, uh, the landing gear retracts and the wings swept back. So, so GI Joe collectors really expect some kind of update that will solve this problem, but unfortunately, Hasbro did that with that. Okay, so now you can modify it, modify this mechanism if you go to GI Joe tutorials, which you can look into, but they are risky. So, anyways, so here is this guy's tracker. Apart from that, I really like this um, sky striker because it is great and the matte, matte finish really adds to the good detailing. You can paint it. Now I am going to show you this uh, custom female pilot I created using Captain Ace's, uh, Captain Ace's helmet and it's actually like Captain Ace's so this figure is a scarlet base figure yes you can see this figure I've added NVG lens to the oxygen mask and helmet just like the F-22 Raptor helmet she also has a gas mask and she looks great and she will fit in the Sky Striker if I do it. I also added holster to the Agent Helix figure. And this is a customized figure, by the way. Okay, so I'll put it here. And she fits well if you can. Since this is a modern Joe figure, it's 4 inch and she fits there like anything. So that's it. And also, I forgot to show you that. These afterburners look great. They're so cool, you can see. Overall, I will I will want to thank everyone watching this video, and if possible, you can subscribe to my video, or to my channel, and I'm gonna be coming up with a lot more videos in the future. But uh, until that, please enjoy.